Now we continue with our inspirational women's series as we count down the weeks till International Women's Day on March the 8th. This week we feature a bright young woman who is an engineer turned entrepreneur. Yumna? Thank you, Noor. Yes, Hint Habea is our guest today and she started off as a swimmer who wanted to keep track of her heartbeat during her daily exercises. Hint invented Butterfly, written EYI a pair of regular looking swimming goggles except for a yellow wire that runs across the upper parts of the lenses leading into two heart trackers that sit at the swimmers temples and she's here to tell us more about it welcome hind hi yumna you started off at the qatar based reality show stars of science so tell me a little bit about that experience how did that come about so i was still a student in my fourth year of engineering at aub and I used to be part of the swimming varsity team and we used to track all kinds of stuff but we used to do it manually and I used to think it's pretty backwards especially that I knew that there were devices out there for runners and bikers and so I looked around and couldn't find anything and at that same time I saw the ads for the stars of science competition and I thought why not apply with my idea for a heart rate monitor for swimmers and so I did and I got selected and it was very unplanned because I had to petition a lot to be able to carry out my university studies and to be able to go to Doha and to take part. So you, you took part in the Stars of Sciences at the same time while continuing your studies? Yes, I was in my last semester. How did the Stars of Sciences competition go? Oh my God, it was an unbelievable experience. We were 16 contestants locked into a lab for 12 hours a day, working day in, day out on our products, and we had very strict deadlines. We needed to get a product out in five weeks. Like even top-notch designers in, in the States cannot pull this off, and we were supposed to do this in a lab in Doha. So it was an unbelievable experience. You came in third. Yes, I did. You came in third, but that's pretty good considering what happened afterwards, because you came back here and then did offers start pouring in? Who is this young science girl? What is she up to? Butterfly? Goggles? What? How did this work? So I came back to Lebanon with, with $100,000 and a prototype that was working. And so I- The third prize was $100,000? Yes. Okay, that's, that's not so bad. That, that, yeah, that's pretty cool, I must say. So I came back to Lebanon and I was pretty confused back then. I had just graduated, graduated from university and I wasn't sure what to do and I was getting all these calls. But the most interesting call for me was Veritech because they were offering funding and I thought that it was a great idea, why not get funding and support from people who have done this, who, ha who know the entrepreneurship road inside out and who can guide me throughout my journey. And so a year later, uh, we signed the contract and so I was able to quit my job. I was working at Dar al-Handasi back then. I was able to quit my job and work full time on the project ever well, since. There was a, I read this in a newspaper that for a month and a half you were the only female finalist and some of your peers refused to talk to you while you were on set because they believed that a woman had no place among inventors. So clarify that. Is that true? Is it not true? I'm not sure what they believe. The facts are that I was one of the, I was the only woman finalist and I spent a month among five guys in the labs and to some of them it wasn't very cool to be uh, talking to a girl on cam. They had no problems talking to me off cam and we were very good friends but when it came to the camera I used to come up to them and like ask them questions and some of them didn't answer and I used to feel like really small but I had to get used to it so I did. We were and now you have your own product which is here and which I, wa I wanted to, you to show our viewers because a lot of people don't know how important is it to have a heart rate monitor while you're swimming compared to like while you're running, et cetera. Is it the same thing? Does it help you track your performances and your exercise? So why is it important? Well, it's very important because heart rate is the most important factor for you to be able to control your training. It's actually what gets you to your goal. So if you want to burn fat, you need to swim at a low heart rate. If you want to be fit, you need to swim at a middle heart rate. And if you want to build your muscles and actually gain muscle weight, you need to swim at a high heart rate. And for swimming, unlike running, you can't hear the coach while you're swimming. So you do need some kind of feedback while your head is underwater. And this is why I think this monitor... It's this little machine yes, here? this little machine here so okay. if you see there's this green thing in the back that's the sensor that measures the heart rate from the temples and then you put it on the straps of the swimming goggles so just you slide the straps just right. like this and then this small little tube goes over the lens okay. and when it reads a heart rate it gives you a color 
And so you always have a color on your lens that tells you what your heart rate zone is. And it's really simple. So you, you can know what your heart rate is in real time and you can optimize your performance accordingly. So have like bigger companies, big sports companies started calling you and saying, I know you got a patent for this. Yes, I you do. You got it trademarked. Yes. So they know that InstaBeat, it's called InstaBeat as yeah. opposed to Butterfly. Butterfly is, is the, the project. Is the company name. Yeah. And InstaBeat is the specific. Is the, pro is the product. Yes. And they called you sports companies and they have, have you gotten pre-orders out? Have you, how, where are you in the process right now? So yeah, we're currently taking pre-orders and I'm in discussion with all of these big players. Uh, nothing I can disclose yet. Okay. But uh, we're working, I mean, the direction is the same. We're working on getting the product out and we want swimmers to give us their feedback. And so th this is the direction I'm working on. Did you ever, while you're in a process, thinking to yourself, I'm going to invent a heart rate monitor for swimmers, did you ever think this might not work? Were there people maybe discouraging you through it because it's a little bit, you know, how come nobody's ever thought about this before? You know, I ask myself the same question every single day because it's such a trivial idea and such a big need for swimmers. And of course, I got lots of people telling me who needs a heart rate monitor while they're swimming or who do you think you are for trying to pull this off out of Lebanon? Yeah, they obviously don't watch the Olympics, <laughs> right? So Th That's my first comment. Yeah, right. My second comment is that I'm happy doing what I do. I'm very passionate about this, and I have the bex best experts surrounding me. And so I'm giving myself the best odds. If it works, then that's amazing. But if it doesn't, then I would have tried something different than you. So that's my perspective in this whole thing. You've tried it, and it works. Have you? Because you're a swimmer yourself. Oh, so you yeah. So I, I swim with this a lot of times. Um, we try it underwater constantly. We always add features. So for example, it started off as a heart rate monitor only, but now it also counts calories and laps. So every day we're, s we're trying something new. I have one last question. Do you ever, are you, when, you're ever in, when you're in a quiet room just by yourself, do you ever think to yourself, wow, this is all happening to me? <laughs> I, I think more like, wow, this is going too fast for me. Because <laughs> um, you're only 24 years old. Yeah. But with so much promise and so much more to come. It's exciting. It's exciting, definitely. Well, thank you for being here. That thank was for having me. Hint Habea, our inspirational woman of the week. Back to you, Noor. Thank you, Yumna. This is a quite a fantastic invention, I have to say.